we kept on watching that PowerPoint where when you click on a button, it links to a specific slide. So we have the list of the problem. I have a title up here. I have a problem. When I click on the problem, it gives what the solution was for the problem or what they tried to come up with the solution, along with a few bullet points of what it did. Down on the corner, I have a home button. I click that and it comes back to here. So I'm going to show you how to do this because you're going to make your own. If I can find it. Holy moly, that's a lot of tabs. So my first slide is going to be my home slide. And under the home ribbon here, I'm going to go to shapes and grab a rectangle. And I'm going to bring it out almost halfway so I can see my zero right up at the top, right up here in my ruler. I'm not going to take it quite all the way over. And that's about wide enough. And I'm just going to type in name of problem. Problem, not program. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. Command C, Command V. Drag it below. Command V. Drag it below. Command V. And Command V. So I have five problems. And I'm going to click and drag. Command C, Command V. Now I have 10 problems. Problems are multiplying. Look at that. Then I'm going to make a new slide. And in this slide, I'm going to insert a, let's go insert a action button. And I'm going to click one that looks like a home. You can see that says home. And I'm going to draw that. And that's automatically going to hyperlink to the first slide, which is kind of cool. Um, and then the things that are going to be required are I'm going to have the title of the program. Blow that baby up a little bit. I'm going to have bullet points. Wow. Of what the program did. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the bullet points are right here under the home ribbon. And then a picture from the internet that shows the problem or program from the internet. So I have one slide that's exactly the way that I want it. And then I'm going to click on the slide over here in my thumbnails and I'm going to hit command D, 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 until I have 10 of those. Then up here, uh, so what I did was I made it so these are all the exact same. All of these have the home button that'll link back, so I only had to do it once. So all I'll have to do is type in the name of my program like the works progress administration. I'm going to type in what it does. Here in my bullets, I'll find a picture from the internet, copy and paste it in here. Follow me so far? Okay. On this home page, then, I'll put in my title, uh, The Great Depression. Blow that baby up. Center it. Stop it. And then I'm going to type in the name of the problem. So you have these, and you also have your notes. And so I can look on this, and I want you to come up with a different name. Don't just copy and paste and write the exact same thing on, that's on the handout. So the banks stink. Maybe banks are unreliable. Wow, my spelling's atrocious today. And so with this, whoops, <coughs> here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to two-finger click on it, and I'm going to go to Action Settings, and I'm going to click Hyperlink to... And I'm going to go to slide two. OK. And then I just have to make sure that it's lined up. So this is my bank one. Maybe this is my WPA. And so I need to make sure that the link goes to the right place. So I would put my problem in that, that the WPA addresses. Two finger click, action settings, hyperlink two. Slide three. 
And I'll do that for each one of these. Action settings, hyperlink to, slide, now I'm on to slide four. So you click on it, it'll go to that slide. Yep, but not yet. Action settings, hyperlink to, slide five. I think I've done it enough, you can probably remember that. And if not, you can go back and watch it again. So if I just click on this right here, it doesn't do anything. And every time I have students saying, Miss John, it doesn't work. You're right, it doesn't, because right now I'm in edit mode. If I go down here, right here, that's going to be presentation mode. Um, it's going to be a little different on mine than it is up on there. If I click on Banks are Unreliable, it will take me to the bank thing. If I click down on the Home button, it'll take me back here. So it'll work the same way that on this handout and on your notes. Um, we're just going to get it ingrained a little bit better. If you want to change the way it looks when you're done, make it pretty, add in extra pictures, whatever, that's fine. I just want to make sure that it actually works. I'm going to post this video to the Google Classroom, so you have the instructions there, but it will be done in PowerPoint. If you'd like to get your MacBooks, um, you may 